So the gameplay trailer for the Security Breach Ruin DLC dropped a couple days ago and I think it's fair to say it left us with a lot of questions. How long has it been since Security Breach happened? Who is this new character Cassie? What on earth is this thing at the end of the trailer? All of these are very valid questions that we can ask after watching. But if there's one thing for certain, it's that Gregory will be coming back. We saw him in the original teaser. We've been seeing his hacker cyberdeck device that he used while he was patient 46, and we hear his voice throughout the trailer. Cassie, I hope you get this message. In fact, the whole DLC feels like it's going to be centered around saving Gregory and escaping the ruined pizzaplex. However, for now fans, I wouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions here, especially considering some of the recent lore drops that we have gotten. That's right, I don't think that we should be trusting Gregory in this DLC. In fact, I don't think that it's Gregory at all. But before we get into some heavy speculation and predictions for the DLC releasing in July, be sure to subscribe so that you know when I next upload. My next video is actually going to tie into this video a lot, so I hope you're excited for it. Now, let's start from the end of Security Breach. From the destruction of the Pizzaplex alone, I think it's pretty clear that the Burn Trap ending is the canon one. If that's not obvious enough, remember that the only ending where all of the Glamrock animatronics are canonically shattered is this very ending. Let us remind ourselves what happened in this ending. We go down to the pizza place, Freddy bugs out, we see the blob and burn trap, and when we beat the boss fight, we see Gregory and Freddy supposedly escaping. Then, after the credits, I'd say we get confirmation of that. So, let's think about this. Gregory has escaped the Pizzaplex. He doesn't need the Pizzaplex because he isn't under the control of Glitchtrap anymore. So, why would he ever go back to the Pizzaplex? Oh, and if you want to learn more about Gregory and his connection with Glitchtrap and Patron 46, then I'd suggest watching one of my previous videos talking about the story GGY and Tales from the Pizzaplex. Once again, allow me to remind you that this is all speculative. The theory can be debunked in the first few seconds of the DLC and that's completely fine, but hear me out. I don't think that Gregory as we know him will be present in any way at all. We see him on the screen in the teaser, but he doesn't look all that physical to me. We've seen his cyber deck, but that's probably just left over from his days as patient 46. And we heard his voice in the trailer, but we didn't see him or any other sign of him at all really. But I mean, that's no big deal, right? It's not like anyone can, you know, mimic his voice or anything. If you haven't been up to date with the FNAF books, then that's completely fair. There are a lot of them and not all of them are relevant. But if there's any time to start reading, it is now. We've been getting some crazy lore drops in these books, including the previously talked about identity of Patient 46. Well, the books also introduce a character that sounds new, but is actually familiar in two different forms. This character is called the Mimic. It's an endoskeleton that was built by a chairman of Fazbear Entertainment way back in the timeline. I'm going to be skipping a lot of details because I want to talk about the Mimic in depth in my next video, but essentially all that you need to know is that the endoskeleton is called Mimic, the artificial intelligence within is called Mimic 1, and it is called the Mimic because the AI is trained to watch people and mimic their actions. And you probably guessed it at this point. The Mimic ends up in the pizza place underneath the Pizzaplex, and Mimic 1 ends up corrupting animatronics within the Pizzaplex. TLDR, Glitchtrap is actually Mimic 1, and Burntrap is Mimic. I know that's a lot of information to take in, but this is why you should read the books. They are freaking awesome. Believe it or not, there are a lot of pieces of evidence in the games that point to this all being the case. Instead of Glitchtrap and Burntrap actually being William Afton himself, a popular theory right now is that they are just mimicking him and the things that he did in the past. The mimic is carrying Afton's entire legacy. So here's the theory. In the ruined DLC, Gregory is actually long gone. Cassie has been called to the Pizzaplex by his voice, but she doesn't realize that this voice is a trap. It's the voice of Gregory being mimicked in order to lure her in to use her as a vessel. 
There's actually multiple times we've seen this in the series. Number 1. The Tales from the Pizzaplex epilogues have Mimic aka Burn Trap mimicking the voice of a trapped kid to lure and kill other kids. Number 2. Prankster in Fazbear Frights has Glitchtrap aka Mimic 1 mimicking the voice of a prankster that it just killed. And number three, in Help Wanted, we also hear Glitchtrap mimicking the voice of Tape Girl. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? So you just have to be sceptical about Gregory when we only hear his voice and we know there has been voice mimicking ever since even sister location. But not only that, his whole demeanour feels so off. Remember in Security Breach, he was extremely confident and outgoing. It was one of the reasons many believed he couldn't be the crying child. But the way he talks in this trailer is very different. He also uses imperatives, commanding words directly spoken to Cassie. Cassie, I hope you get this message. I'm trapped here at the pizza plex or what's left of it. I don't have time to go into how I got here, but you've got to help me out. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark down here. Don't give up on me yet. And while we're on the topic, Cassie sounds pretty familiar to a name we've heard in the series before, right? I've seen theories that Ruin will actually be a parallel to the Princess Quest arcades, and while I don't think that's necessarily true, I do see the smaller parallels. Cassie would be the Princess Cassidy in this situation, and remember she ends up collecting the Vanny Mask in Princess Quest 3. Maybe this creature at the end of the trailer is just a high definition monster from the Princess Quest games that we are only able to see through this strange mask. Also remember, at least in my theory video, I said that Cassidy is likely to be the vengeful spirit. And while I'm aware there are problems with that and it's still highly debated, I find it interesting that Cassie is quick to fight back, to be vengeful in this shot. It would also be an interesting dynamic because Cassidy and the Crying Child were supposedly the two souls present in the survival logbook, and by extension, the Golden Freddy suit. And now what do we see? A kid that parallels the Crying Child, and another kid that parallels Cassidy. It feels right. Now this was only a short video, but I think it's important that people are more aware about the books and what they tell us about the nature of Gregory, Glitchtrap and Burntrap. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's that I don't think this supposed Gregory character in the Ruined DLC can be trusted. I think that the big reveal at the end of the game is that Gregory was never trapped in the Pizzaplex, and it was all just one big game played by the Mimic in order to capture another child. And who knows, maybe Cassie aka Cassidy will have a glitch trap in her head and it will bring us Ultimate Custom Night 2, Ultimate Custom Night, except it's all the opposite way round. Okay, that's just a joke, don't kill me. Thank you all so much for watching, remember to subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time when we talk more about what the Mimic has in store for us in this series. Catch you then.